You open Instagram to check a message and next thing you know it's been two hours of non-stop scrolling. Your eyes are glazed over, your thumb is sore from swiping, and you can't even remember half of what you just saw. Sound familiar? If you're anything like me, mindless social media scrolling has become an unhealthy habit that sucks away your precious time and energy. But fear not, my friend, I'm here to share some real talk and help you break this cycle once and for all. You know, I used to be really bad about mindless scrolling. I was addicted to it, just endless hours lost to scrolling through social media. I'll show you a screenshot later that proves just how much time I was wasting on that stuff. And I'm going to share the simple steps I took to stop scrolling endlessly. We've all been there. You pick up your phone to check one thing, and the next thing you know, you're deep into the rabbit hole of your ex's cousin's best friend's dog's Instagram page. Imagine this. You're all cozy on your couch, ready to dive into the world of your favorite fantasy novel. Just one quick peek at your phone, you say. Next thing you know, you're three years deep into a complete stranger's vacation photos, wondering how they managed to fit so much luggage into a mini Cooper. Or how about this one? You're at work, you pick up your phone to check an important email, and before you know it, you're watching a live stream of a lovable grandma in Idaho, showing you 50 ways to knit a scarf. It's easy to get lost in the endless scroll, isn't it? The good news is you're not alone. We've all been there, laughing at memes at 3 in the morning or getting emotionally invested in the life of a squirrel named Bob who has his own Facebook page. But let's get serious for a moment. These humorous anecdotes hide an ugly truth. Excessive social media use can have negative effects. Studies show that spending too much time on social media can lead to procrastination and decreased productivity. It can also affect our mental health leading to feelings of anxiety and depression. Here's the bad. Every minute you spend scrolling through your feed is a minute you're not spending on something else. That's time you could be using to learn a new skill, read a book, or even, dare we say it, interact with people in the real world. And the ugly, the more time you spend on social media, the more you're likely to compare your life to the carefully curated lives of others, which can lead to feelings of inadequacy and low self-esteem. Sure, we've all had a laugh at a cat video or two, but maybe it's time to consider what else we could be doing with our time. So how does one fight the urge to scroll? Well, just as Rome wasn't built in a day, breaking the habit of endless scrolling won't happen overnight. Our first practical tip is setting time limits. It's like going on a diet, but for your digital consumption. Decide on a reasonable amount of time you'd like to spend on social media each day, say 30 minutes, an hour, whatever you choose, stick to it. And no, just five more minutes does not count. There are even apps out there that can help you monitor and manage your screen time. Instagram has a built-in feature to monitor your time spent. And when you turn it on, it even gives you reminder after every 10 or 15 minutes, whatever time limit which you will set, to stop scrolling. Just by turning this setting on, my time spent dropped from over 3 hours to just 18 minutes in a week. Next, let's talk about notifications. These pesky little pop-ups are like those annoying flies at a picnic. They just keep coming back, luring you in with the promise of a juicy piece of gossip or a cute cat video. Turning off your notifications might feel like cutting off your arm, but trust me, it's worth it. You'll be amazed at how much less you'll check your phone when it's not constantly buzzing or lighting up. Now, here's a novel idea. Instead of filling your time with endless scrolling, how about finding other activities to fill your time? Rediscover the joy of reading a book, going for a walk, or hey, have you ever tried drawing? It's surprisingly therapeutic. Plus, you can make some pretty cool paintings to decorate your walls. And finally, don't be too hard on yourself. Changing habits is tough. If you find yourself falling back into old patterns, don't beat yourself up. Instead, take a deep breath, remind yourself why you're making this change, and try again. And here's a bonus tip. Unfollow accounts that don't bring you joy or add value to your life. If all they do is make you feel bad about yourself or waste your time, it's time to hit that unfollow button. You wouldn't keep expired milk in your fridge, would you? Treat your social media feeds the same way. Remember, every journey begins with a single step, or in this case, a single swipe. So what's the takeaway from all this? Well, it's simple. The crux of our discussion is not to demonize social media, but to encourage a more mindful approach towards its use. Remember, it's not about completely eliminating social media from your life, but rather about finding a healthy balance. It's about realizing the time we could save and the real-life experiences we could gain by simply reducing our screen time. We've talked about the good, the bad, and the ugly of social media. We've shared practical tips on how to curb the habit of endless scrolling. 
Whether it's setting a timer, turning off notifications, or designating tech-free zones, these small steps can help us regain control over our time and our lives. Next time you find yourself reaching for your phone, remember there's a whole world out there waiting for you to explore it. So why not take a break from the virtual and embrace the real? And always remember that stopping mindless scrolling is way easier than you think.